the inside of the driver's side door is just like the other side except for it has a few more buttons you have two presets for your power seat here for the driver all the power windows are one touch up and down that's the rear glass the front glass is a laminated glass so it has this little lamination two panes of glass with an acoustic material in the middle makes it a stronger piece of glass but also keeps sound waves from getting in as much you also have a blind spot monitor system the indicator is right here so it lets you know when there's vehicles in your blind spot or the rear cross traffic alert system if you're backing out of a parking space it'll let you know with that indicator as well there's your door lock controls your side mirrors you can adjust it by pick a side and adjust it with that little pad or you can fold them in they kind of swing up like so the driver's seat is also powered and it has more to it here you can lift it up you can go down you can tilt all that stuff and then you have the four-way lumbar adjustment as well To the left of the steering column, you have some buttons and stuff. So right here is the brake hold. This will actually hold the brake for you even when you have the vehicle in drive. If you're sitting, once you have it engaged, basically if you're stopped at a stoplight or whatever, it'll hold the brake for you until you push the accelerator and ready to go. Electronic parking brake, you can engage that here or disengage it. Side doors, you have the ability to open and close these. You can also turn them off. So right now they're on. So if you don't want kids playing around with the doors, you can turn that feature off and you can have exclusive use to uh, control them. Ability to open up the power tailgate there, lift gate. Road departure warning system. You can turn it on or off as a little indicator light, parking light, parking, uh, the parking sensors. You can turn those on or off, see a little indicator. Uh, so if it's beeping at you, this is for your front and the rear. Uh, this is your traction control and basically it's default on but you can turn it off in case you need to spin tires and this is your forward collision warning you can turn that off here it also has a tilt and a telescoping steering column and you lock it in place with that lever sitting in the driver's seat checking it out I have the seat all the way down and all the way back and I'm six feet tall and there's lots of room here uh, as far as the width and everything you see the accelerator pedal in relationship to the center console there this is all wide open so you have plenty of knee room here the footrest is fantastic it's nice and big it has a good angle to it um, and then you have the knee room just plenty of knee room way here on the on the left side as well so all good the, the seat all the way back is probably where I would have it at six feet tall so the the, the distance between the seat and the pedals is not like you know super great uh, it's not like it goes too far back I mean it's perfect for me being six feet tall um, but you know it's if you're too much taller say six four or something like that you definitely want to get in the vehicle and try it out for a little while to make sure that you're going to be able to be um, comfortable I think it's still good uh, considering the knee room is great you have lots of room here so um, even if you're taller if your knees are bent a little bit uh, it should be fine because there is a lot of leg room here so it does have a leather wrapped heated steering wheel and it's nice and comfortable it has a little give to it has good thickness you have a um, four spoke here now it does have some gloss black so we will have to deal with some fingerprints and cleaning those off there's your heated button so you can turn on the heated steering wheel as a little indicator light and your adaptive cruise control your whole cruise control system is over here you push the main button to turn it on and this is includes your lane keep assist system so you can turn that feature on or off here set and resume and cancel just like a normal um, cruise control but you also have this button here which sets the distance between you and the vehicle in front of you and it shows here on the screen up here so you just keep pressing it and, it and it adjusts the distance I like a real far distance that's what I always set it on so here on the left side you have your Bluetooth controls you can once you pair your phone you can answer calls hang up and then you have a voice recognition system volume a physical volume uh, buttons here for your radio uh, you can also change the your tracks or uh, radio stations depending on where you're in 
here on the back of the steering wheel there's paddle shifters so the plus and minus uh, for up you know raising and lowering your gear for the 10 speed transmission front and rear windshield wipers are controlled here on the right stock on the left stock is your turn signal of course but you also have your headlight controls so you have off parking automatic and headlights and then you have your fog lights here so here's your gauges and it has these uh, physical gauges here on the either side um, engine coolant temperature and your fuel gauge there on the right side uh, the center portion is a screen so you have a nice big digital speedometer and the tachometer at the top is like represented like a bar rpms there what gear you're in outside temperature odometer some of your safety features whether on or off um, but you can also push this button here so you can see the little you have this little home button and then you have these buttons here and a back button so let's go ahead and push this home button so when we press that this pops up and uh, we can scroll down and get more information so you can see at the bottom it says blank so if we would just want blank like we had it that's fine but we could go in here and change that let's say we want to have a trip computer or see what the phone's doing like a caller ID or whatever uh, navigation we can have information there uh, whatever's playing on the radio uh, maintenance tire pressure oil life we can go into settings we can actually turn off the tachometer the tachometer at the top we can just make that go away if we don't want to see it that's pretty neat we can change the units to kilometers per hour or we can go back to a blank screen whatever we want to do we can also show or hide apps depending on what we want whatever we want so we have some customization here uh, Android Auto satellite radio you see some of these that are grayed out because there's nothing playing in there Apple CarPlay USB if for these are things that we want to use regularly we can go ahead and have those on hand by adding to this menu here start button which we already saw and here's the touch screen so it does have a physical volume knob and then you have some soft touch buttons here on the left side so when you press the home button this pops up right here to the, this is the home screen anyway we're already at it um, I like the way it does have a clock there on the right top right it's always easy to find and it's nice big enough to where you can see it pretty good then you have some uh, little shortcuts up here you have navigation Apparently, powered by Garmin, you can pinch to zoom and stuff. We don't have a uh, anything attached to the phone. There's the rear entertainment, so we can, um, you know, set that up and play whatever we want through that. Um, you also have the cabin talk, so we can, as we talk to people, if we have, um, we can speak through the speakers or the headphones. So if we choose speakers, as I talk now, it's amplifying my voice through the speakers to the back to the, so the third row people can hear me. And um, so that, that's pretty nice. You're not hollering at people uh, in the, the third row, trying to holler at people because you're facing away from them. You can hear them better because they're facing you, but if you're facing away from them, it's hard for them to hear you. And, uh, you know, you might think your kids are ignoring you, which maybe they are. All right, so it's continuing on. So there's Apple Car, CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities. You have to plug in the device, AM, FM. Uh, you know, there's the radio right here. So you have presets and all that stuff. Of course, you can play, you know, music through your phone or the, uh, you know, through the system in different ways. Your auxiliary input, USB, satellite radio. You have a trip computer here. Now this also, in addition to the cabin talk, uh, which we saw the the, um, the short cut to, it has the cabin watch. So we can actually see back there and check out everybody. Now it also has, at nighttime, it has an you know infrared 
so you can see every keep an eye on everybody uh, use it even at nighttime so they can't hide in the dark from you so you can keep an eye on the kids if they're in the car seats or whatever make sure they're you know not doing something or whatever but so yeah the cabin watch is pretty cool in addition to the cabin talk There's a nice big clock here. Sometimes you just want to focus on the time, and I like the way they have a large clock. You can change that if you want uh, different clock faces or whatever. So you can change it to that or whatever. Like a big flower. So that's kind of a um, kind of a rundown of the screen. Um, it has lots of different things here. I mean, there's just so much you can go through and. And play with but it's one of those things where there's so much here that you want to play with it and figure out what features you want to use and that way you can um, you know take the ones out that you don't use and and really practice with it and make sure you understand the system and know how to use it so you're not playing around with it while you're driving you know so that's that's recommended okay so it does have a uh, a tri zone basically a dual zone here in the front and then a a third a rear climate control so all this is is adjustable up here so you have front climate rear climate you have your temperatures right here fan speed um, you know where you want the air to blow and as you can see temperatures are adjusted here um, your rear defrosters front defrosters it also turns on your heated side mirrors when you put the rear defroster on uh, you can sync all three of them or you can have them separate so you can unsync them and then you can have the rear separate or these these sides separate individual temperatures and you do have heated seats and cooled seats here in the front so you have three stage cooled so high medium and low cooled and high medium and low uh, heated seat same thing for your passenger there four-way flashers um, eco mode snow and the stop start feature you can turn it off if you don't want the vehicle to turn off when you stop the vehicle and then restart when you you know press the accelerator it's it's kind of a it's one of those things that some people don't really like but you have the ability to turn it off here you will have to do that each time you get in the vehicle though so this is actually your shifter it's, it's a series of buttons so right now it's in park put my foot on the brake push that now we're in drive push it again and now we are in sport mode. So we know what gear we're in, it'll show up here. So you can see I push it again, it goes back to drive, I push the park, so you can see it shows we're in park. It has an indicator light that we're in park. We also have reverse, we can put pull back on that, and now we're in reverse. Um, and it has, this, it has it set to lower the side mirrors right now when you put it in reverse. And uh, so this is your backup camera. Um, it has active guidelines. And different camera views so you have uh, a, a super wide more linear but still wide and then a top-down view and uh, this is your cross rear cross traffic alert system uh, so you can turn it on or off if this is beeping at you and annoying you you can just go ahead and turn it off if you want but it really is handy and it's also handy able, being able to see this really wide view it is distorted but it does let you know if there's a vehicle coming it is a little bit offset, but it's not a big, not a huge deal. This is your parking sensor indicators. So in addition to a little beep, you also get um, the ability to see where that thing is that you're supposed to be looking out for. So you have the corners there on the front, and then you have the full spread there on the back, which is pretty cool. And then we'll go ahead and put it back in park. All right, so down here you'll find your Blu-ray Blu drive, so you can play your movies for the kids. And then 12-volt power supplies. Uh, over here, 12-volt power supply on this side, is a 150-watt outlet. Like, sort of like you'd find in your house. Right there, but it's only a two-prong, so uh, depending on you know what you use. A lot of them have three prongs like you'd find in your house, but you can see it's just a two-prong. And no, it's not going to run a hair, a hair dryer or anything like that. It's only 150 watts. So this is like charging a laptop or something. Okay, so there's a nice big area. So you could put a bag right there when you get in the vehicle or just whatever. Nice big area to put stuff. 
and uh, here's some cup holders there's a wireless charge port for putting your phone it has rubberized on the bottom so it's not sliding around it's really easy to access and you can see it you know so this is nice nice location now it is a charge port but you can use it for other stuff you could put stuff there um, it's going to automatically sense a phone and turn on but if there's no phone there you could just utilize that as a pocket um, and we have the cup holders here that the rear passengers can access then you have this right here have this armrest go ahead and pull that up out of the way and uh, so now we can take this and slide this back all right this is where you find your headphones your wire two wireless headphones for your second row passengers uh, you also have a remote for the um, the entertainment system in here and just a storage area but this is just where they happen to be but this is a storage area you can put whatever you want in it uh, you have auxiliary input here and then this is where your USB you have a charge port and then you have an input for your system so that's your input that's your charge port this is nice feels nice has a texture to it So the rear view mirror is an auto dimming rear view mirror. It's actually auto dimming now because I have the shade over the light sensor and the light sensor is right back here. Uh, you can turn that feature off by pushing that button if you'd like. You have your home link garage door opener controls underneath here. Tap lights. Uh, this is for your um, sunroof. You can have your, all your interior lights turn on, off, or with the door there in the center position. There's a little uh, ambient light that shines right here at nighttime, which is nice. You can check out my night videos. You have some roadside assistance and, um, you know, Honda Link. You can get help with the vehicle, stuff like that. And then you have a place to put your shades. But in addition to that cabin watch, you also have a conversation mirror as well. So you don't have to rely on the screen. You can use this mirror to keep an eye on the people in the back. The visor has mirrors and lights in both of them this has a little articulation there okay so here's the sunroof and the sunroof it has a shade that covers hundred percent of the light which is nice you can vent it up close it or you can move it back stops there and that's as far as back as it goes okay so looking at the visibility in the back um, there's some significant blind spots back there because all the seats are in the way there is a lot of windows uh, but the more passengers you have back here uh, the more it's going to limit your visibility so that's why you have the camera system the parking sensors the rear cross traffic alert um, you have a lot of technology to help you out uh, you know blind spot indicators all that stuff to help you out with uh, you know driving the vehicle and not having to worry so much about your visibility all right there you have it thank you for watching and thank you to east coast honda here in myrtle beach south carolina and i'll see you guys next time